Hey guys, Charles here with Premium B. In this tutorial, we're gonna be creating the lo-fi look, which is essentially the look of mini DV footage, early camcorder footage from the 90s, and we're gonna be doing all of this in After Effects. So let's go ahead and get started. So in order to create this look, the first thing we need to do is create a new composition, and we're gonna call this our mini DV comp. Now the actual size of mini DV footage is 720 by 480 pixels. So you'd think that would be the size we want this composition to be. However, through my experimentation working with footage, when it comes to HD footage and footage that's kind of larger scale, even like 4K, when you're scaling that down, it tends to retain a lot more image detail than we need. So it won't exactly look like mini DV footage. So we're gonna kind of cheat this. We're gonna make this composition 200 pixels by 150 pixels. So pretty small. And it's also gonna be a four by three aspect ratio. So kind of sticking to that mini DV standard. Now, if you guys wanna make this a different size, it's still four by three, maybe something closer to that 720 by 480. You can definitely feel free to do that. I'm just gonna have this be 200 pixels by 150 because I really wanna get a nice kind of alias look and we'll look at that a little bit later. So now I've got this set up, just make sure it's the same frame rate and length as your footage. Go ahead and click OK. So now you can see we have this four by three composition and I'm just gonna drag my video clip into the composition and we can see it's obviously far bigger than the size of our comp. So let me zoom back in here and what we need to do is select our footage and I'm just gonna come up here to layer and we're gonna come down to transform and fit comp to height. And now we'll go ahead and scale our footage down and make sure it fits perfectly within this. As you can see, this is very pixelated and that's what we're looking for. Now it's gonna look a little different when we actually put this in our main composition. We'll kind of see how that looks. But you can already see we're getting kind of that alias look right here. Again, this is a little too kind of pixelated looking. We're gonna fix that in just a second. So let's go ahead and create a new composition. And we're gonna call this our main comp. And I'm just gonna have this be a full HD composition. So I'm just gonna select the HD preset here. 1920 by 1080, again, 24 frames per second. Go ahead and click OK. And what we need to do now is we're gonna drag our mini DV footage composition right inside of our main comp. And now we can see it's quite a bit smaller. As we zoom out there, you can see just how small that actually is. But again, we want that for this pixelated look. So with that composition selected, we're gonna come up here again to layer. We're gonna go to transform and fit comp to height. And now we'll go ahead and scale that up perfectly. So now if we zoom in here, you're gonna see we're not getting quite as pixelated of a look but we're definitely getting that like low resolution, you know, alias look. You can see kind of on the lines here, what I'm talking about the aliasing is that little stair stepping you see right there. That's kind of an alias look that's very common with mini DV footage, just kind of attributing that to this low resolution video footage. And as I zoom back out here again, you can see we're just getting that four by three look. So we're getting the black bars on the side and that's what we want. Kind of scroll through this. Now what we need to do is apply some effects to really kind of sell this kind of really over exaggerating the mini DV effect, almost kind of like a VHS style look on top of this. So if you wanted to stop right here, right now you've kind of already got the basically look and feel of like what mini DV footage would look like, but we're gonna oversell this and kind of exaggerate a lot of things here. So we're gonna do some color correction effects. So with our composition selected here, let's come up here to effect. And let's come down here to color correction. We're gonna select Lumetri color to start with. And again, you're probably gonna make these changes more specifically for your own footage, but I'm gonna give you kind of a general application of kind of the color effects I would do on shots like this. So let's go over to the basic correction. And we really wanna make the look of this be a little bit more harsher because like mini DB footage is not gonna have a very big dynamic range and things like that. So the first thing I'm gonna come up here and adjust is gonna be the contrast. I'm gonna go ahead and set this to be 50. Give us more of a contrasty look. Now let's go over to the highlights. Let's bump that up so it kind of clips the highlights. I'm gonna set this to be 30. And let's come down here to the whites. Let's go ahead and increase that again to 30. Again, we're kind of blowing out this footage here. So the highlights are kind of blown out. And then on the blacks, let's go ahead and set that to be negative 30. Make those a little bit darker. Again, we're just really exaggerating kind of a real contrasty look. And if you'll notice, it kind of helps bring out more of the aliasing we can kind of see around the edging here. Now, another thing I want to do with this is kind of fade this out a little bit. And the way we're going to do that, let's go ahead and toggle down the curves tab. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna adjust the white and the black point. So you can see this goes from corner to corner. I'm gonna select this top point, just drag it down a little bit. So it kind of clips off the whites there and we'll do the same thing at the bottom for the blacks. So it just kind of helps fade that up a little bit. Again, you can do this to taste depending on your own shot. But with this particular clip, I kind of like to look that just giving it a little bit more of a faded nostalgic look like this is something you might see from the 90s. And I'll go ahead and close up Lumetri color there after we've applied our changes to that. 
Now the next effect is completely optional, but I like to apply it to give it more of a vintage look. That's gonna be the channel blur effect. Let's come here to effect and under blur, we're gonna select channel blur. And for this, all we need to do is I'm gonna come over here to the blue blurriness. You can do this on any one of these, but I'm just gonna set this to be three. And as you can see, we get a nice kind of chroma effect blurring happening around everything, really giving it that like vintage look and feel. We can toggle this on and off. And you can see the difference that makes. Very subtle, but again, kind of giving it a faded look and giving us a little bit of like a, an outline around the edge you can see there that I like particularly well when it comes to kind of creating a mini DV shot. Now, finally, this effect is gonna be the one that really helps kind of punch this up, and that's gonna be the unsharp mask. We're really gonna kind of over sharpen so we can see a lot more of this aliasing and flickering that you typically would not wanna have on your footage, but when you're creating an old look like this, it works quite well. So let's go over to effect and under blur and sharpen, we're gonna select unsharp mask. And as you can already see, it really sharpened that up. You can see the stair stepping we're getting here. So I'm gonna set the amount to be 150. And then for the radius, I'm just gonna bump that up to two. And you can see how we are really getting some uh, crunchy looking footage now, giving us that vintage look. And you can see with this on and off, the difference that makes is how much softer that looks. And you can dial this into taste. You can definitely experiment. Sometimes I'll maybe change the amount to like 300 and bump the radius down to one and just play back and forth with that depending on the shot for what kind of look you want to go for. But you can see all the aliasing we're getting here. We can do a quick RAM preview of this. That's definitely harkening back to some mini DV footage looks right there. And again, feel free to play with the values of all of these effects depending on your specific shot. But I really like the look this gives us and see what this looks like with the channel blur off. You want to kind of experiment with that if that's a little too much for you. But if you want to switch out shots, it's very simple to do too. Just jump back over to your mini DV composition and I'll come back over to my project panel. And let me select one of these other clips here. I've got this skateboarder shot. I'm just going to drag and drop this in. I can just scale this down to fit. And we jump back over to our main comp. And now we can see we have mini DV footage with this. And you can see we get a nice aliasing effect here happening on this rail and all these lines here. Go ahead and RAM preview this. So that's a quick and easy way you can create the look of mini DV footage. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Be sure to check out the other tutorials we have over on the Premium Beat channel, and I will catch you guys in the next one.